Howdy, Mark Serbu, gun designer, gun nut. I've got a really quick one, but a really cool one for you today. And uh, maybe you're not thinking about guns on Easter, but I sure am. But, you know, I'm always thinking about guns. But man, look at this thing. It's just crazy. And believe it or not, this started life as a GB22, kind of, sort of. The telltale is the fact that the trigger is part of the frame. I'm pretty sure I'm the one who came up with that. You know, if anybody knows of someone else who did it first, let me know in the comments and then I will have you killed so you don't spread the word. <laughs> uh, yes, that was a joke, YouTube. Wait, is, is uh, threatening to kill people against uh, community standards? Anyway, really interesting build here. And, and this is definitely one of the cooler things about my job, about what I do is, you know, I put out these guns, put out ideas, and obviously the GB22, we put out plans for them. And here's a guy in a, in a country that can't even own the plans. We can't legally send him the plans. He's in New Zealand. And yet he came up with this just looking at the GB22 for ideas. And he comes up with this completely different take on it, which is just so cool. Now, as many of you know, semi-automatic revolvers aren't new. They've been done before, but it looks like it's only been done twice, the Webley and the Mateba. Now, I did come up with my own full-auto revolver based on the GB22, and I just designed it in CAD, never went anywhere with it. Who knows, one of these days. But anyway, it's a completely different idea than what this guy's done here. And what's so cool about his design is that he's got a slide that moves like a semi-auto, and he's got a revolver cylinder. Now, that's never been done on a gun, as far as I know. Uh, man, it's just, and it just makes me think of so many different ways to do it. Um, the way his works, it actually ejects the cases, which is neat. But if you want to make some kind of assassin weapon, you can make it so that the, the cases are actually captive. And you make it so the case moves back just enough to impart recoil energy to the slide. When the slide goes back and forth, it doesn't just fire the round. It also allows the cylinder to index. And the cylinder is spring-loaded, like uh, with a clock spring or something like that. But man, this thing just uh, just gives me so many ideas of, of cool ways to do this. And uh, it, it's really neat that people do this stuff. You know, a lot of, a lot of people just, you know, gun is a gun. And, but some of us are just thinking here, just coming up with ways to do things that just, you know, for why not? You know, this all you need for an excuse is just because. And a lot of people in the world just don't understand this at all. You know, they think of guns as just something evil and something that should be avoided. And you know. But for a lot of us, this is like a puzzle. This is a, an incredible mechanical puzzle. And you get to do something. You get to use your brain. You get to use your hands. You come up with something. And in the end, you're holding something in your hand. And you can go out and, and target shoot with it. You can defend your life with it. Whatever. It's just... Uh, it's just a really, really cool hobby, and man, I wish more people would get into it, and fewer people would be pushing all the gun hatred out there. It's Easter, folks, or Ramadan, or Passover, or whatever. Well, this was just a quick look at this really awesome design, and uh, I'm going to be getting more information from the designer, and he's going to be sending me some video footage. And if you've got anything you want me to ask him or something you want to see, please let me know in the comments. Or if you've got your own take on the GB22 design that hasn't been done before, I'd like to hear about that. Thanks, folks. Appreciate you watching. Catch you next time. Oh, yeah. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell.